I'm looking forward to telling you about Lung Pacer's FDA-designated breakthrough therapy, which is designed to help acute care patients regain independent breathing faster and also improve their cardio, their pulmonary, and their respiratory health faster as well. It all starts with mechanical ventilation, and while truly life-saving for patients, it also comes at great costs. It inflicts mental and physical trauma on their bodies, which prolongs their time on mechanical ventilation. It increases the risk of death, and these are our most costly patients in the healthcare system today, approaching $100 billion each year. When, uh, when we're breathing as we're sitting here today, our diaphragm muscle moves down and out of the way, creating space around our lower lungs and they fill with air. Ventilators work differently. Because the diaphragm doesn't move, the lower lungs are collapsed. And so a ventilator uses pressurized air to expand the lungs. Those two fundamental differences uh, lead to several problems for these patients. The first of which is associated with the diaphragm muscle, which is used to contracting 25 thousand times per day, and often sedation or weakness prevents this muscle from working in these individual patients, and it can atrophy at an extraordinary rate, losing up to 50% of its muscle mass in just two days, and this prolongs these patients' time on the mechanical ventilator. In addition, uh, a single setting on a mechanical ventilator can cause both a high pressure an overexpansion of the upper lungs, and a low pressure, a de-recruitment of the lower lungs at the same time. And even short-term exposure to mechanical ventilation, for instance, during a surgical procedure, has been shown to affect your mortality. And the longer you're on a ventilator, the more likely you are to get an infection. This extends your time in the hospital and drives additional costs and also impacts your mortality as well. And 50% of patients on ventilation will have some form of a cognitive injury and for some, this is lifelong, and this will also impact their chances of dying earlier. And the diaphragm muscle, its contraction actually preloads blood to our heart, so these acute care patients don't have that benefit of this circulatory assistance. In addition, the pressure that's exerted from the ventilator into the lungs compresses the blood vessels there, making it more difficult for the heart to circulate blood. So these two factors work against the heart, creating additional stress and hardship for it to do its job. And a majority of patients will say that their time on mechanical ventilation was worse than death. A third of them will actually um, experience very uh, difficult time breathing. They, they express it as intense and frequent thirst for air, and uh, that will lead to post-traumatic stress up to months after they've left the hospital. And life on a ventilator is traumatic for a patient. I know this, I witnessed it uh, with my son. This is the hard part of the story to tell, but he was on a ventilator for uh, over a week, and uh, while he ultimately weaned, he tragically passed away several weeks later. And um, often in our business, uh, it is true that tragedy can bring about great change, and that's what we hope to do at Long Pacer. So we're going to change and create a better future for these patients. So our first device, Aeropace, consists of a neurostimulation catheter, a stimulation console, and, a, and an airway sensor. The catheter is placed the same way a central line is placed for the subclavian or the left jugular vein and it's extended down in the superior vena cava. Signals are sent to the diaphragm muscle to help them contract. When that happens, the muscle gets exercise, stays strong or can get stronger. The lungs fill the way we naturally breathe from the bottom with less harmful pressure from the ventilator. And the system can be used with any ventilator. Our first product, AeroPace, is designed for patients who failed to wean. And our second product, AeroNova, is designed to be used at an early time point to protect these patients from complications. AeroPace uses a series of physical therapy sessions daily for these patients to help rebuild the diaphragm muscle strength so they can regain independent breathing. AeroNova uses continual stimulations from the onset to keep the diaphragm active and strong, to fill the lungs more safely, and to hopefully improve the health uh, of the patient's cognitive function as well as their cardio and pulmonary function. Now, our first product is currently under FDA review. 
So details of the data are embargoed during that process, but our clinical data shows that lung patient therapy can improve the diaphragm muscle strength of these patients, can wean more patients in a 30-day period than the current standard of care today, shortens the time these patients are on mechanical ventilation by several days, and reduces the risk of reintubation. So we're looking forward to FDA approval and launch of this product in 2025. Aranova uh, will be starting its phase two trial later this year, and uh, pre early preclinical and early clinical data has shown that this technology, if used early, can prevent diaphragm muscle atrophy, can mitigate lung injury, can improve cognitive health, and in fact has been shown to be neuroprotective, and increases cardiac output and heart rate variability. So together, we, with the data that we have from over 400 patients, at our preclinical studies that have been presented in 92 scientific presentations, sorry about that, as well as 24 publications, uh, we, uh, we are very confident that our technology will be able to transform the acute care treatments of these patients. The initial products will address a 2.5 million uh, patients each year that are in the ICU on mechanical ventilation that the total addressable market value for this group is, is exceeding $22 billion. Now we model a very conservative, less than 5% market adoption in seven years. As an inventor of AngioSeal, which is shown on this slide, I know how challenging it can be to build a distribution channel and bring new and innovative technologies to the market. Yet at 5% market penetration in seven years, this company will be generating a billion dollars in revenue providing a great return for our investors and also saving billions for the healthcare system. Our products are gonna be directed towards environments of patients that are in a high acuity disease states, as well as limited um, hospital resources. So our value proposition of saving time and reducing the need for additional procedures should be highly compelling. These patients are treated under existing DRGs and we will be applying for a new technology add-on payment, which should be ready by the time we launch the product in 2025. We have a very seasoned, battle-worn leadership team, a world-class uh, clinical advisory board, and we're building a large international intellectual property portfolio, which has over 130 patents today and more coming. We'll be raising our Series C uh, in Q1 next year, to support the commercialization of the Aeropace product. And uh, we are looking forward to bringing about one of the biggest changes in respiratory support since the introduction of the mechanical ventilator. We are striving to reduce the trauma that these patients face every day and re reduce the uh, morbidity that they suffer after their time on mechanical ventilation. At the same time, we believe we can save the healthcare system a sig significant amount of money. So we ask that you join us in um, leveraging this amazing data that we have on our product, uh, addressing this $22 billion market opportunity and building a better future for patients like my son. Thank you.